Welcome back to Living 808 and to Hawaii's, Hawaii's Kitchen. Kitchen. It's on the road today. It's Jersey style pizza at its best. And Mikey is there live from the new Rapetti's over Ooh. in Hawaii. Hi, hey, hey Mikey. Got one chance yeah. To do live. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys. That's right, Rapetti's Pizza and Provisions. And guess what? I got an apron on because I'm actually going into the kitchen. I'm going to introduce you guys to Hatch Clark. Now, he's the owner here of Rapetti's Pizza and Provisions. And let me tell you, it smells so good here. And everybody, <laughs> this is Hatch. Hatch, how are hey, you doing? Going? Good, to, good see to see you. Mikey. <laughs> okay, while I put these gloves on, tell everybody a little bit about Rapetti's Pizza and Provisions and kind of a backstory. Sure, uh, we're originally from New Jersey, where I worked in pizzerias since I was 16. Um, mm -hmm. 1976, right. I started. And this is kind of a culmination of all those years, of all the different styles and stuff that we learned. And uh, we had two pizzas on Maui for 17 years. We right. still have them. Right. Serpico's and Upcountry Pukalani. Right. And Prison Street Pizza in Lahaina. Awesome. You know, I want to ask you, I mean, so obviously we have pizza here in Hawaii, but I want to know what makes Rapetti's Pizza and Provisions different than other pizza companies here on the island? Well, you know, it probably starts with this, which is the Baker's Pride uh, Double Deck uh, Y1500, which is okay. cooks the pizzas nice and crispy. Ooh. There's two in there right now. Nice. And it's basically the same recipe that I learned back in 1976 from uh, my brother and all the old school Italians from right. uh, Italy. and. Uh, you know, just continuing their uh, recipes. Right, right. And you know what's pretty cool about Rapetti's Pizza and Provisions? It's authentic, traditional family recipes, you know, that you that you grew up eating, and now you're sharing it with the people of Hawaii, so that's amazing. Also, what's amazing is this pizza dough in front of me, and I am going to attempt <laughs> to catch it and throw it to you. Okay. So, I am a red. <laughs> is that good? All right, you ready, Mikey? <laughs> Yeah, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm shaking. I'm going to do it twice. There's once. Ah! Then you're going to catch it on the third time. That's twice. Okay. Get it, Mike. Ah! Okay, right. let me do it. Let me do it. Give it a little spin. There you go. Oh! Tuck it back. Okay, ready? All right. You're um, a lefty, though. Um, I see you're spinning it the other way. I love it. Okay. You okay. Want to try it again? Yes. And then what? Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I love it. That's oh, so you're fun. Hired. There you, you go. Tonight. Okay. Um, I can't tonight, but maybe tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're looking at a bunch of toppings in front of us. How do we make one of your um, signature pizza dishes here? Well, the Repetti's? one signature is the Repetti Special. Okay. Which is basically um, sausage, which we use raw sausage. That way it cooks right on the pizza. Mm -hmm. Pepperoni, mushrooms, onions, and green peppers. Awesome. So the way we make the pizza is you get it on the deck. Okay. And use semolina flour to take it off. Okay. And, of course, the, the dough's made with uh, flour, and then it, you let it poof up overnight. Got it. And then you take about eight ounces of pizza sauce, put it right in the middle, and just do a nice spiral. And you want to bring it right to the edge because nobody likes a big, giant crust with no cheese or right. sauce on it. Yeah, so you yeah, want to yeah. get to it, but don't go over the edge because that's a that's a no-no. Then the thing will stick to the board. And, okay. Uh, you'll so have now, a you're, now you're adding the cheese. So Would you shredded say the mozzarella? Secret, the secret to um, you know your pizzas and why it's so popular is the freshness of the ingredients that you put on it. Yeah, it's all the uh, you know we make everything from scratch, and then it's also just the old school that oven, the semolina. The dough proofing up overnight, the weight of the dough, the way we uh, uh, mix it, and then just the dispersion of the items. So okay. go ahead, Mikey, if you want to, uh, okay. what my boss always told me, put the items on the outside first. So okay. put some pepperoni on. So we're outlining on, it. All on the outside rim, yeah. Okay. Why do we want to start from the outside? Because then you don't get the middle-itis where everybody just throws all the stuff in oh. the middle and you have this big, empty... Uh, yeah, margin yeah, yeah. with nothing on it. Okay, okay. But good. So what should I put on next? Put on the mushrooms. Okay. I'm also gonna do it like salt bay, but I'll be the mushroom bay, so it's gonna be like Yeah. Or, uh... do a high dispersal. That's good. <laughs> I love it. Okay, and then so we got pizza, or we got the pizza sauce, we got the mushrooms, we and got the onions. cheese. Onions, everybody likes the onions. The onions, pepperoni, and this is your signature dish. What are people saying when they come in here? They're trying the pizza. Because um, you also dine in and take out. What are people saying about the recipes? Well, they like it, especially, you know, people that have experience with the East Coast type of pizza. Right. It's all the, uh, you know, just that style. It's crispy, but it's a big pizza. You get a lot of bang for your buck. Just a cheese pie like this one coming out here. Right, right. 
Okay, okay so we're going to toss it to break. You can feed a family of four on this thing. Perfect. And if anybody wanted to learn more, what's a good website that they should log on to? Serpico's or uh, Rapetti's Pizza.com. <laughs> Rapetti's Pizza.com. <laughs>